Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We're going to show you today how to manually open the top on a Volkswagen EOS. Uh, I don't think it's been shown before in any video. We're pretty proud that we figured out how to do it. Normally you will see videos uh, online that show how to quote unquote manually open this top with the help of a computer that um, tricks the system into moving the single segments of the top. Obviously that is something that needs to be done at the dealer or at a fancy shop. Uh, this video here is different. It shows, shows you how to truly manually open the top if you ever need to. Now the only reason you really need to open this top manually is to get access at some components inside the top in case your top isn't working. So it's fairly rare that this video will be needed, but once it is needed, you'll find it quite helpful, we hope. The tools needed are quite simple. Essential is a Torx T15 screwdriver and uh, about 10 inch long uh, small pry bar that is used to uh, unlock some members in the rear leg lid uh, latch and in the uh, um, roof frame, uh, roof member latch, and also it's useful to have a couple small flat screwdrivers to get behind some trim panels. We'll show you every single step uh, needed here. Hope we're not leaving anything out. I'm pretty confident that you can follow this well. Um, hope you don't find it exhaustingly detailed, but better show you everything than uh, skip over things. So um, let's assume that you have been able to retract the um, sunroof already all the way. If you haven't been able to retract that, there's other videos online that show how this is done. It's fairly simple. It's um, about manually cranking something under the um, main section of the roof. So again, we assume that you've been able to retract this part all the way and it needs to be back all the way to fold the roof properly. Next, we'll go to the trunk. We'll um, show you how to undo a couple torque screws for uh, tension cables. We'll undo the pressure relief valve on the pump, meaning we will open the pressure relief valve on the tr uh, pump. Then we'll um, remove some trim panels inside the trunk frame and um, so that we can unlock the trunk frame. Then we will show you how to unlock the uh, roof member lock inside this uh, rear seat panel or rear glass panel and after those things have been unlocked we can actually manually lift the top manually lift the top and let it drop into the trunk um, it does not take a whole lot of force to lift this two people can do it fairly easily so um, this is not a terribly hard job as long as you are detail oriented and um, hopefully able to uh, follow every single step in here. There are some uh, steps that take a good amount of force. You simply have to finesse those, but altogether um, your regular handy person can manually open the top. More importantly really is uh, one can also manually close the top. That will be in a different video and it takes a little bit, bit more uh, force, meaning it takes three or four people to lift the roof up. But again, that's for another video. Let's right now open this top manually and follow me to the trunk. So here we are in the uh, trunk of the Volkswagen EOS. Uh, let me pull up the carpeted uh, panel that uh, is above the spare tire. And here you see the hydraulic pump. It is under this gray foam cover. Actually, uh, this car is missing a small bracket that is on top of here that uh, is also easy to remove. So for access to the pump, all we have to do is pull this plastic panel up and then expose the pump inside of this uh, foam housing. To pull the access cover up, you actually, we have loosened it already, it only takes pulling up in all directions. Uh, keep in mind that the uh, this trim panel is normally tucked under the weather seal so um, you, it will pull out of the weather seal all by itself once you start pulling up on all ends. The, um, one of the important things is disconnect the wire for the connector for the interior light here for the trunk illumination. That connector is easily 
uh, disconnect it by pushing two tabs together and simply pulling it out of the light. So here I take out that rear trim panel and now we are almost at the pump. There is another plastic bracket on here that we can uh, pull up on. It's got two little release panel tabs in the rear. You pull those tabs forward. Now you can push down on this and get it out of the bottom uh, mounting bracket as well. And uh, lastly, we take off the foam cover. Now we finally see this hydraulic pump. So here's what we were after, the manual pressure relief valve on the hydraulic pump. It uses a six millimeter Allen wrench or a Torx T40 will work as well. You want to unscrew this counterclockwise. I'll loosen it up first. Here's a half turn and I'll give it another half meaning one, one and a half. If you were to turn it farther at about two turns, you'll see that it gets harder to loosen it. You don't want to go past that point or you'll damage the valve. So let's bring it back to about one and a half turns open and we take it from here. We have two screws to undo in the trunk now, and those are on the left side and on the right side. I'll show you on the left side if we follow from the middle of the trunk to the left of the main hinge here. Right on the bottom here is a Torx T15 screw. I already put a Torx T15 screwdriver into it, and we want to loosen or actually unscrew this screw, and I'll show you that from another perspective. So here's this uh, screw again from another perspective. We have actually um, pulled the trunk lid back just so that we can get a better uh, video shot of this. And with the Torx T15 bit, we can unscrew this bolt and remove the tension on these strings. Notice that there's a lower clip first and then there's an upper clip with a screw in it. And once these guys have been removed, we can more easily move the cover trim piece, the rear roof member cloth covering, let's call it that, is now easily moved for access to the roof member locking mechanism. Here's another useful perspective. We're cheating a little bit with the uh, rear glass member up already in order to unlock the roof um, side member. Um, after we have released the strings on the bottom, we also want to unclip this clip here that um, will then allow us to pull the cloth cover for the roof members aside and get access to the roof locking mechanism. There are several, probably several, there are probably several ways to do this properly and I'm not saying I found the best way, but it worked. So as I said earlier, we push down here to dislodge the front tab. That gives us some room to push these piece, this piece forward. That in turn gives us room to pry up here a little bit. And with the front piece pushed forward, it will eventually, after a bunch of wiggling, allow us to clear the middle tab. Now I can slide this piece back, slide the top piece back, slide this piece out of the way, and we have access to the cylinder. And here comes the fun part, unlocking the rear lid front latching mechanism. Now you could do this with a large flat screwdriver. What we want to do is push 
this end of the cylinder forward and you could just lodge a large screwdriver in here and push forward. Uh, I don't like the idea that much because what you want to avoid is slipping and stabbing things. So it's uh, good to be um, smooth and steady and I found this angled um, pry bar a lot more useful because it just gives me better clearance. I can push at a better angle. So I lodge the pry bar behind the rod end it's called on the cylinder and push forward. I lean my body into it a little bit and go slow and steady. Just keep in mind you don't want to slip your tools, you don't want to hurt yourself. So pushing forward, moving my body into it it does take some force and finally there the front section of the uh, trunk lid has unlatched. Obviously we do the same thing on the other side that is the same trim removal and the same moving this cylinder forward and then we go to the next step. We close the trunk lid. Note that it will not close all the way but rather rest on these claws in the rear. That's okay, we have enough clearance now to let the roof stack, meaning to move the rear section of the top or the rear C-pillar. And uh, next I'll go inside here and show you how to unlatch the latches that actually stiffen the frame over here and um, then allow you to lift the rear glass up. Follow me. So here are the rear roof members and this piece of cover is why we showed you earlier that we needed to undo this Torx bolt and I also showed you in a separate perspective how to unclip this plastic from this frame member. Well, it's hard to show on camera now how it's done. Uh, in place you just have to feel your way around it and uh, unclip this piece that was previously clipped together. It unclips from this frame member. Now the uh, nylon cord doesn't have tension on it anymore because we undid the Torx bolt and we can secure this above the rear um, headrest. And what we're really after is this rear roof member locking mechanism that locks down the midsection of the roof, makes it rigid. Well, that is currently locked down and we need to get it over its dead spot, meaning we move this part here up and um, once this locking mechanism is over the dead spot, we can lift the rear glass up. Now, here comes my uh, trusted old pry bar again. And I'll try to do this without being in the shot, without my head being in the way here. I lever the pry bar over this frame member under this uh, spherical rod end and push up. There we go. You see that it first comes up and actually it's a semicircular motion. It really moves forward from there on. Now we don't need to move it farther than this about three quarter inch or so than that it has already moved. We do the same thing on the other side and that is already unlatched then allows us to lift the rear or glass section up. Ta-da! From here we manually lift the rear section, rear glass section or rear C-pillar of the top. It takes two people to do this. It's not terribly hard, but it takes two people to keep the whole thing balanced. We want to watch out that we don't get our cloth covering or the nylon straps caught anywhere. Next we uh, grab the trunk lid, mostly in the front corner and lift it up backwards. Keep in mind that the rear section of the trunk lid is not secure to the frame right now so that flaps easily. That's why we lift mostly from the front. 
So now we have the trunk lid backward and uh, next we can lift the roof section back into the trunk. Um, you want it, this roof section is fairly heavy. Um, it's not terribly hard to move it, but it moves slowly. So you want to uh, grab it under the front and under the rear and just keep pushing up and you'll see it slowly moving up and uh, backward at the same time. Once we're past the higher spot here, we can practically let it go and fall into the trunk. We just want to make sure that uh, our cloth covers and nylon straps don't get caught in the frame. And after this, we can uh, next move the trunk frame back forward. It falls into place. We lift up the lid and next take care of locking the rear section of the, uh, the front section of the rear lid again. So for our final step, we're going to retract these cylinders again and it takes more or less uh, brute force. I can do this by first leaning my body against this um, section here right at the end of the spherical uh, ball joint and you see that about halfway you hit a spot where it's very hard to move this. I'll walk around the camera and um, show you how I lever my um, pry bar in there to give me the easiest movement. Now, um, you want to move slowly on this. Don't get your hand caught in any hands caught in anything. It uh, just so happens that this pry bar works out beautifully. It's got this 45 or 30 degree angle rather, um, where I can have the tip of the pry bar hitting right behind a bolt in this uh, frame and this curved section getting at the ball joint and I can slowly move this in a controlled way watching out that my tool doesn't slip. Now I've gotten this past the hardest spot and I can actually just push the rest in easily. Do the same thing on the other side. Close the trunk lid and we are done. The top is down. So we have uh, locked the other side as well. Close our trunk lid and hear it latching. The top is down. Ta-da! We're really proud of this uh, video because uh, we're not aware that anybody else has done this before manually, at least there hasn't been a video out and um, we're hoping that it was easy enough to follow. There are a couple spots where you need some force but um, it's totally doable and uh, hope it helps you out. We have other videos on uh, manually closing the top, on removing the pump, on removing the single hydraulic components and um, how the electrical sensors work in this system. So hopefully you find this all useful. Thanks for watching.